Hello, Sydney. It's your favorite color is back, and today we're continuing Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. So, as you can see, we arrived in Switzerland. Mountain says everything. So, let's go. How can I help you, my nair? Good day, sir. I am Dr. You must see Fraulein Muller. Please, if you could. She. Okay. Guten Tag, she Fraulein. I'm impatient to receive your visit. She has made remarkable progress. But the doctor can explain everything far better than I. Look, here she is now. My the. little daughter. She looks totally fucked up. Good day, miss. I am Dr. Hello, woman. I believe you have word of my visit. Indeed, doctor. Your letter said you wished to speak with Dr. Gijax. I will see if he is ready. Thank you, miss. Good morning, Dr. Watson. I must say, I viewed your letter with both astonishment and pride. You want to know more about our methods of treatment in order to compare them with those applied in your country? Indeed, Doctor. I am sure that we British could learn a great deal from our colleagues on the continent. You are quite right, my dear Doctor. But this professional consultation could have been managed with greater efficiency and ease by correspondence. I'm sure you can understand my time, as is yours, is quite valuable. Pray tell, what precisely brought you to the Black Edelweiss? Dr. Watson. It is quite simple. Through some random events, I encountered a man who was a former patient of yours. His actions suggested that he was suffering from such disorders as... Good morning. I am Amos Colby from the Northwood Agency of Boston, Massachusetts. Is something wrong, Doctor? Upon my word, this man who claims to be from the Northwood Agency is an obvious fraud. The true Amos Colby died and was buried just a few days ago in London. I must now tell you everything. I am here because one of your staff has engaged in a dangerous trade between this institution and parties in England. Moreover, those activities are tied to a murderous sect, which... And you think that this man could be one of them? Indeed. It is entirely within reason that he is here to eliminate any traces of their criminal enterprise, if you see my meaning. Indeed I do, Doctor. Let me show you out. I, I, I trust that... Please return at this same time tomorrow, and I promise I will be entirely at your disposal. But... Most assuredly. Good morning, sir. How may I be of assistance? You can start by telling your men to all take a few steps back. Then we can have a nice, friendly... Uh, very interesting. We have indications of a personality breakdown and related paranoia. I must ask you to come with me to the examination room so we can reveal your deeper problems. Legendary. She fainted. <laughs> what the fuck? Do not worry, it's nothing serious. Stand where you are. I need something. If I fill it with water, the doctor will have only a harmless injection to use.
And there, it is done. Easy. Several drops alone will be enough to sedate a horse. There. That's excellent. Kunz, throw him into the holding chamber. I would feel more comfortable without this costume. However, I am here and in proper place due to Watson's singular assistance. I must remember to thank him later. Let's hope he will act according to our plan. My next move is to learn if the London kidnapper has some accomplice here. Lord, what a stench. This wretch reeks of alcohol. Taking into account his state, he has also been dosed with a good amount of some soporific. Spoon. Is somebody shooting heroin here? The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear as if I'm still here. The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear... I need something. This should complete the illusion of my presence. For how long, I can't be sure. Lord, what a step! Closed tight. I'm totally confused.
Too easy. Too easy for a pro like me. Closed tight. Closed tight. Great. It would be better to turn back. I must hide and avoid the nurse, else he will raise an alarm, and I must find some means of neutralizing him. Perhaps I could put him to sleep somehow. Okay, let's save just in case. Okay, yes. Where is it? won't be of any use to me. Let's go. So let's fill them all just in case. It can't be. <laughs> okay, good thing I saved. I must hide and avoid. Shut up. A scale. This won't be of any use to me. What are you doing out there? Huh? Huh? You, you are not a nurse. Come on, get me out of here. I'm very sorry, my friend. I can't help you as I'm just passing by. I'm not your friend. I am Maurizio. I can promise you won't get very far if you don't set me free. My cries will bring the entire hospital on your trail. Well, my friend, I, I mean Maurizio, it looks like you have logic on your side, but I don't have the key to your cell, and the door looks quite solidly built. What do you make of our dilemma? The door may be solid, but the lock is worthless. <laughs> there is a room at the end of the corridor, where the repairman from the mainland stores his supplies. <laughs> I am positive there is a crowbar inside. <laughs> the key is hidden in a crack near the door. <laughs> As he's afraid of losing it. <laughs> Come back for me when you get the crowbar. <laughs> okay, lunatics. Closed tight. Attention. Reconstruction and installation of war. Closed tight. Great. Bring me the crowbar or I'll scream and bring... I encourage all personnel to read Dr. Blen... Closed tight. It would be better to turn back. Well, damn it. I must hide and avoid. An old puppet. Almost as well. Let's hear it again.
A medicine man is not always at the service of life. A scale. This won't be of any use to me. <coughs> Bring me the crowbar. Closed tight. Okay, there's a crowbar. I must measure them first. I must measure them first before taking them. I must measure them first. I must measure I must measure them oh. The diameter of this pipe is 10 millimeters the diameter of this the diameter of this pipe the diameter of this these pipes are too large to carry more than one at a time these pipes are too large to carry Bless you. <laughs> and here you are. Greetings. Careful. You best not linger here. If they find you, <laughs> they will throw you down below. <laughs> Into the depths. <laughs> Into hell. What's he doing there? Stop him, quickly. Stand where you are. It seems that Maurizio finally attracted some attention. Excellent. Now the stairs are clear and I may return upstairs. Okay, great. Closed. Tight. Keys. Great. Closed. Tight. I have no reason to go there. As long as I keep my distance, I now appear as if I... Closed tight. Why don't I have them keys? Closed tight. Now my smock will not help me. I must avoid. I must be careful to avoid it.
Nurse, make him stop. He must stop that. What is the problem, madam? Bauer must stop at once. <laughs> the birds have not been fed for two days. Bauer must have taken the seed. <laughs> I want them to. Extraordinary. These are all bird variants that can speak. Closed tight. Water. Closed tight. This lock is too complex for the closed tight. Closed tight. <laughs> I won't. Closed tight. Okay, that's all bullshit. Closed tight. Attention, reconstruction. The diameter of this pipe, the diameter of this pipe. These pipes are too large to carry more than one at a time. The diameter of this pipe is the diameter of this the diameter of this pipe is these pipes are too large to carry more than Okay, now we can 
tranquilize this guy. Let's well, just save just in case. I must hide and avoid. Total pro. Well done. Their laboratory seems to have all the usual. This is a letter from Guy Jax, as this is clearly his signature. I don't understand. Stones? What stones could he mean? Dr. Blensmoth's book, Mind, Its Strength and Its Secrets. This book appears to be an... This letter is dated two weeks... These boxes contain chlorine. Strange, these appear to be pink crystals. This box contains bottles labeled Black Edelweiss, which are identical to those found in the London sect hideouts. As I suspected, they most definitely came from here. I will take one. This product is primarily composed of potash, which, if blended in precise proportions with water and chlorine, creates a spectacular smoke. But I will also need a bottle or container of some sort. These cans won't do. They're too large. This product is primarily composed of... This product is primarily... A scale. This won't be of any use. Okay, let's try. Upstairs now. Closed tight. Or maybe not. Excuse me, miss. Go away, you swine. Leave, or I'll make you bleed. Very friendly. Closed tight. Closed tight. I cannot do this. Lord, what is okay, nothing over this faggot? Any news upstairs? I have. 
have no reason to go there. Right. Closed tight. Now my smock will not help me. Fuck off. I must be careful to avoid attention. Okay, nothing here. Total bullshit. Closed tight. A scale. This won't be of any use to me. Not even if I put a scale. Water. No. This won't be of any use to me. Their laboratory seems to Their laboratories Their laboratory seems Wait A scale This won't be a Laboratory seems to have this product is primarily comp Let's find Becker. Lord, what a step. <laughs> Closed tight. What the fuck is Becker then? Has to be some of those noobs upstairs. Closed tight. 
Closed tight. Everything. Closed tight. I have no reason to go there. I must be careful to avoid attention. No problem, but let's just stay. Okay, that's all bullshit. So we should, we should go. I should find a way to get rid of the nurses, so I may quietly move about this floor and speak... Oh, I have the... I should find a way to get rid of... These levers are peculiar. Now it can't be used for anything. I have no time. I should find a way to get rid of... Now it can't be used for anything. Who... who are you? You are not the nurse. Give them to me. I beg you. What do you need? Small pink crystals, please. In the laboratory. Here it is, my friend. You must tell me where. Make the male nurse leave, and I will tell you anything you want. All right. Where is the key to the aviary? The mad girl. Bring her doll to her. She knows. I should find a way to get rid of the nurses, so I may quietly move about this floor and... <laughs> okay, let's see. How will we do that? I should find a way to get rid of these levers are peculiar now it can't be used for I have no time I should find a way to get you are shitting me now it can't be used for anything used for Who is here to see you, miss? Heidi. Heidi. You are here. The bad men took you away. But you came back. Heidi told me she wanted to come back to you. 
She also told me that you know how to free the kind birds from their cage. Bad men took Heidi away. They said I was a bad girl because I cut off the head of that nasty brute. But he started it. He was bad first. He did terrible things, this bad man? Oh, yes. He came in the night for us. He took Heidi and I to his room, near the birds. And he was very, very nasty with me. He had the key to the bird's house and said if I wasn't a good girl, he would send them away. I didn't like that. Because Heidi loves the birds. So, my child, the key to the birdhouse is upstairs in his room? Yes, it's there. Now the lady lives there, but I am not allowed to see the birds anymore. Thank you very much. What is that, Heidi? Oh, you want to thank the gentleman. And you have a present for him. What a sweet girl you are. Oh, I agree. Heidi wants to thank you and says to tell you a secret. When I cut the bad man's head, she didn't want him to ever come back. So she hid the key in her belly. We are in your debt, young lady, and our humble thanks to you, Heidi. Heidi, child of the mountain. Legendary. Let's get the fuck out of here. I have no reason to go there. This room. Macrame, a healthy occupation for modern women by Calipigi Mumbala Smith Papadopoulos. And look at this, it is a signed edition. This splendid macrame design is protecting the bottle. Fraulein Muller does not seem particularly gifted. Truly, art in the blood can take the strangest forms. This must be the key to the aviary. Let's get the fuck out of here. I have no reason to go there.
Make the male nurse leave. I should find a way to get... These levers are peculiar. Now it can't be used for anything. Total bullshit. The door to the bird cage is open. Help us. Quick, catch them! Thanks to the panic, all the nerve. While the guards are busy trying to catch. Okay, what do we have here? Following the unintentional fire caused by uninspired staff members, I made the decision to forbid. It is necessary to get this dragon to leave, so I can freely examine the kitchen. Perhaps if I can create smoke, she will go... Whoa. The fuck is this? Upster comma. Okay, fire it is then, let's just see. What we have downstairs now. The attendant is gone. Ah, I'm very glad. But you are not an attendant? No, my good man, I am not. I arrived from London to investigate private charges of embezzlement against this establishment. You came all the way from London? Why would anyone choose to come to this godforsaken place? Indeed, I have just arrived from London and my reasons will soon be clear. Listen to me, I know you do not belong here. You are not mad, merely the victim of a trap that only the most expert specialists could untangle. More importantly, you are the only person here who can give me the information I require. If you could speak with me, assuming your pain has not returned, I would be in your debt. But, who are you? Someone who could guarantee your freedom once my objectives are secured. But I have little time, and you must listen to me carefully. Did you hear the staff or other inmates speak on any suspicious activities other than the horrible mistreatment you have all suffered at the hands of the staff? You are from English customs, then. You must be interested in the arrival of illegal foreign lunatics in your country. What makes you say this? Well, some time ago, they removed all the foreigners from their cells. And they were never seen or heard from again. Perhaps they were shipped into your country without the usual formalities? Those foreigners, where did they come from? I don't know exactly, because oddly, they never associated with the rest of the inmates. They arrived regularly, one or two fellows per month. Most peculiar. Did they speak among themselves? I could hear them trying to talk to one another, but... It seemed as if they couldn't understand each other. As if each spoke a different dialect. Also, none of them seemed mad in the least. And then, there was one other odd event. They were downstairs, 
and it was shortly before their departure. I strained to hear them and could barely make out their conversation. This time, they all seemed to speak the same language. And what is even stranger, they seem to be saying the same thing repeatedly. You must rest now, but don't lose hope, as I am here to help. I am afraid I must leave you now. If you need to know other information, you can see me when you like. Okay, great. This is meant to be used by two people, and here I am alone. I have to create a system. The only solution is to find a method allowing me to lower this external lever when I am between the two gates. Okay, that should be easy. These levers are well oiled. Let's see. Whoa. Impossible. Was? This lock is too complex for this tool. This lock is too Fuck off! How about for this tool? This lock is too complex for this. This lock is too com- Total bullshit. No. I know. Did you learn something else? I need something. I need something. I need something. Shut up. I need something. I need something. What else? I need something. I need something. I need something. I need something. Closed tight. Did you learn something else? Fuck off. Okay, maybe something changed. Attention, re Oh, I can't take pipes again. Closed tight. Shit. Water. 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 Fuck off.
let's see. It is necessary to get this dragon to leave so I can freely examine the kitchen. Perhaps it... Here is the bottle with adequate water. I must calculate its capacity as accurately as possible if my smoke... <coughs> now I know the exact capacity of the bottle. won't be of any use to me. Okay. Their laboratory seems to have... Potash, the perfect ingredient for creating smoke. Potash. Oh, I can the create the fucking smoke. Potash, the perfect... Potash, the perfect ingredient for creating smoke. Here now, I must take care to measure the precise... Okay. And there, it is done. My smoking device is ready. I must say, a room filled with smoke shall be difficult to examine, but there is no other way. Okay, let's go. We have everything ready. Hard to examine. A truss for roast beef. Only this. Total bullshit. A lovely piece. I must say it's the highlight of this... Crazy bitch. Impossible.
I need something. The only solution is to find a method allowing me to lower this ex... This is meant to be used by two people, and here I am alone. I need something. I need something. I need something. Uh. These levers are well oiled. So easy. And there, it is done. Three is nine. Two times five is ten. Pardon me, sir. Could I trouble you for some information? Nasty, nasty cheat. I shall say nothing to you. Three times seven is twenty-one. Three times eight is twenty-four. I shall speak only to Professor Schwartz. He understands that I have learned all my lessons. Three times nine is twenty-seven. Apparently, he will speak only with this professor. Perhaps the medical files on this man, Wolf. Closed tight. Closed tight. Shit. This door is quite solidly built, but the lock is rudimentary. Never again will I go out on a case without a... There should be a passageway leading from one side to the other of this wall. Perhaps someone here knows... Sick. Apparently, he will only speak. <laughs> Maybe I can show him something. Two times six. Apparently, he will only speak with one. Two times six. Apparently, he will only speak with one particular. <laughs> Two times six. Apparently, he will only speak with. Total bullshit. Two times. Apparently, he will only speak with. Two times. Apparently, he will only. I believe I'm close to finding what I need. Do you know this man downstairs, the one perpetually reciting his multiplication tables? Yes. He is Wolf, but you will get nothing from him. He will only speak with one man, this Professor Schwartz. But I believe he died a long time ago. Perhaps the medical files on this man Wolf will be helpful. Okay, where the fuck do I find medical files? This lock is too... This lock is too complex. this guy
closed tight. Maybe now I can go here. No. Not even an option anymore. Okay, great, we can't go inside here anymore. Okay, obviously no reason to go back there anymore. For now, I mean. Closed tight. Closed tight. Leave me alone. Two times. Apparently, he will only speak. Should be a passageway leading. There should be a passageway leading from. There should be a passageway leading. Shut up. There should be a passageway leading from what? What are these spectacles? There should be a passageway leading. This door is quite solidly built, but the lock is rudimentary. Never again will I go out on a case. This shit again. Thoughts are bullshit.
Easy. Whoa. My God, there is a body inside. I am glad I spared Watson this horror. This place conceals deeds far more sinister than the mere traffic in dangerous goods. My God, there is a body inside. Stop watching that. My God, there is a body. This well must empty directly into an underground river. This well must empty directly. The sawdust on this soil was recently disturbed. Someone was searching for something here. Okay. Who could have forgotten this? These are the tools of a butcher. Cable from New Orleans sent in the last few weeks. If the shipment of these goods from New Orleans relies upon a transfer of funds from Europe, it is possible the actual exchange won't take place for a few weeks. Then There's a small label that says, Classroom. Closed tight. Closed tight. That's a bit too obvious. Closed tight. Oh, it's pulling again. Closed no. tight. I haven't examined everything yet. This man seems to suffer from every possible mental affliction. Judging by the date of his admission, he must be one of the oldest patients here. Hmm. The former hospital director researched his case and mentions Wolf's professor. Apparently, he was the only person of influence with the poor fellow. There is even a portrait of the late professor included in with the reports. So this is Professor Schwartz. The Worship of Ghouls by Count Derlet. I do not think this book would give the reader pleasant dreams if reserved for bedtime reading. I don't know what this guy Jacks studied, but judging by his office and what I saw before, he is more dangerous than any of his patients. Indeed. I haven't examined everything yet. I haven't examined everything yet. Closed tight. <sighs> Closed tight. Oh, maybe it's the. I can pick this lock. I can pick this lock. This lock is too complex for this tool. The fuck? I can pick this lock. I can pick this lock. I can pick this lock. Okay, pick it then. Oh. Two times. Apparently, he will only. Two times. Apparently, he will only speak with.
Leave me alone. Fucking great. Impossible. What in this one? Only one thing. Who is this anonymous patient? Perhaps there is a file on him, as with the other patients. Okay. This should prove useful. And now, time to become the good Professor Schwartz and pay a visit to Wolf. Okay, I knew he will disguise. Make a disguise. Apparently, he will only speak with one particular person. Okay. So, Wolf, I see you have mastered your lesson. Splendid. P -p Professor Schwartz? I congratulate you, Wolf. I cannot say the same about your other classmates. I am most unhappy with their behavior, because it seems they have been cheating. Professor Schwartz, you saw them, didn't you? I know my lessons. I always work so hard, and the others, they crib from me. I know, my boy, I know. But their leader, he is a doctor, isn't he? Yes, Professor, yes. He is the most vile member of the group. Sometimes, he tries to keep me from my lessons. He says he will treat me like the others who don't speak like us, and who scream so very loud when he punishes them. But I keep to my lessons and recite my tables all the day. He can't stop me. That's good, my boy. You have made me proud. Now, I need your help. Where do they meet? I must find them and make sure they get the punishment they so rightly deserve. They meet over there, but it is well hidden, and only the doctor has the code. First, he makes noise with the fire near his office. Afterwards, he makes noise with the fire in front of me. And then, he makes noise behind me. You will see he does not know his lessons. Thank you, Wolf. That's a clever boy. You have earned high marks this term, but for now, you must try to recite your lessons in silence. Since I am the professor, I know and see everything. There is never a need to shout. As you say, Professor Schwartz. I don't need it anymore. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, here's the file I was seeking. It can only be our mysterious patient. What a strange character. I need a name. I haven't examined everything yet. What the fuck now? I can pick this lock. this a battery with a crank starter no doubt used to stimulate his patients I feel great pity for the patients who must have been tied to this machine the faint signs remaining on this blackboard are in phonetics it appears that people were forced to recite some text with no real understanding of its meaning it's a pity that the text was erased These birds are from the Avery. They served a purpose beyond mere decoration. A notebook detailing the experiment. I haven't examined everything yet. Where is the thing now? Two times six is... Leave me alone. Blood, blood. No shit. My God, 
There is a body inside. I haven't examined everything yet. I haven't examined everything yet. Well, nothing changed. Or did it? Total bullshit, man. Closed tight. Ah. Uh. Hold on. There is an oily stain on this letter. It smells of iodine. Interesting. Unbelievable. These letters are from various Swiss banks and show that the doctor made several sales of precious stones over these last months and each time for higher profit. He must have access to a real treasure. I see numerous transfers were made to an account holder in the Bank of London and another in a bank here in New Orleans. I must take note of these transactions. Now it can't be used for anything. Now it can't be used for anything. Now it can't be used for anything. The fuck? The fuck, the fuck, the fuck. I need a name to... Now it can't be used for anything. Okay, just in case. Two times six. Leave me alone. Fuck you. It works. Simplicity itself. My apologies, but I do not understand what you are trying to say. If I may introduce myself, I am... Who you are means nothing. 
All that matters is your reverence to the One. You came to invoke the Great Lord with the speaking, and now I ask you, who am I, you wretched mortal? Even your pitiful mind can find enlightenment before serving as food for the servants of chaos. Where are all those poor souls kidnapped in London? And what about the others who pass through here in their travels? Your search is in vain. You are nothing to the great lord. Soon he will heed our call. When those titans will be reassembled for the awakening of their king, the sleeping lord shall walk the earth. You and your kind will tear your flesh when you learn how your lives insult the great lord and master. You will plead for the abyss as have all those before you who fed the Great One. Those who give their weak flesh to our Lord cry for his return. So shall you. He has lain dreaming, silent, hungry, awaiting his followers. Tremble in awe. Behold, the Great One returns. He makes so much noise. I'd better be on my way before he attracts the entire staff. I guess it is our escape. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. Safe to say, oh, we're in the lock room. Closed tight. No challenge here. It is a primitive lock. Any simple metal. No challenge here. Pardon me, sir. I need your help. He doesn't seem to hear me. Moriarty! Moriarty, my worst enemy and a man who was presumed dead. Who could think this demon could have survived such a great fall at Reichenbach? He seems a shadow of his former self. There is no doubt he has truly lost his memory and therefore cannot be a part of these events. Find this outsider as quickly as possible and bring him to the treatment room. I shall take care of his memory.
Professor, do you hear that voice? This man who is speaking to two others, a man of great intellect and ability, who is approaching and is even now right behind that door. You know him, Professor. Come now, Professor. You can't have forgotten so easily. Let me remind you, Professor. I am going to reveal his identity. I will tell you his name. You know him well, Professor. He is... Sherlock Holmes. I knew it. Stand where you are. Closed tight. Impossible. At last, the laundry. First of all, I must prepare. It is the imposter! He is here! I'll sort you out, buddy. Come here. The doctor is not here. We had internal concerns arise today. Herr Director is engaged with urgent hospital matters and cannot be disturbed. Very well. We will take this troublesome wretch along with us. Perhaps tomorrow, the Doctor and I will be able to discuss our other matter. First of all, my friend, you should know that you have been dealing with two famous professionals. Your deceit has failed, and you should know that it is impossible to confound us. Who are you, and why have you come here? What is your opinion, Watson? Uh, Holmes, but, but what are you doing here? And you are as white as a sheet. It seems as though you met a ghost. It's quite possible, Watson. Quite possible. You should have told me about your plans, Holmes. Definitely not, Watson. You would have acted in an unnatural manner and done everything to persuade me against my course of action. You can be sure of that. Good God, Holmes, think of the risk you took. Indeed, Watson, and I hesitate to reveal my further plans. They are likely to be far more dangerous. Will you explain? Even though I know the crux of this affair began in Europe, and even perhaps in England, we have no elements indicating the when, the where, and the how. Our only lead would have us travel to a continent not our own, one that is wild and untamed in many ways. I assume that you now know the name of our next destination. Probably New Orleans. You are quite correct, Watson. Indeed. New Orleans, Louisiana, located in the wilds of America. Our nemesis has a group of his men there, and we must arrive in time to stop them. We must make haste to La Havre and book ship's passage immediately. I took precautions before our departure from Switzerland, but it is imperative we maintain the utmost secrecy regarding both our true identities and our destination. We are dealing with a cunning and powerful adversary, Watson. Quite powerful. Do you require assistance, young man? Yes, young man. As a Mr. Ho, um, the big detective, it is often necessary to use all of one's little grey cells to solve great mysteries. Hercule! Hercule! Where are you? Oh, here you are. Naughty boy, come along now. Madame Poirot, your stop is coming soon. An agent will assist you with your luggage. Oh, no.
As soon as we find a hotel, we shall send for our bags. I took care to leave nothing of value on board. Everything is safe and secure right here. I even have a rough map of the city. As you can see, Holmes, I prepared for every possibility. Hmm. And here we are in the new world. A whole continent ready to welcome us with open arms. Is this not invigorating, Holmes? Think of the challenge that lies ahead. Indeed, Watson, but let me remind you that we have few clues and time is not our ally, and countless lives rely upon our success. You are right, Holmes. Perhaps we should secure some local currency with our bills of exchange. At the present, we have but a few dollars at our disposal. Okay, we're going to end this video here because we totally nailed Switzerland.